Okay, I'm setting up this. Um, this is the Air Assisted Airless Graco Finish Pro 2 395PC with the G40 gun. I have the Air Assisted Needle um, cap on here. So this doesn't have the rack tip on it. Now I'm setting it up to spray with airless. I have my fluid pressure set up pretty low. And you want to start low and you want to have tails on either side of the spray pattern. So see how it has tails on either side here? You want to start there. And then you want to add air to help compensate it. So here is your air volume. This is your spray pattern adjustment here. So to dial it out is to make your spray pattern smaller. To go like this, it'll make it wider. So basically it just changes the amount of air that's pushing on the top and bottom of the, uh, of the stream in order to compress it. <clears throat> so here we go, let's turn it to airless. I have my pressure set up at just under 20 PSI. It'll drop as you pull the trigger. And that doesn't run continuously, like it shuts off after it builds pressure. Um, so I'm gonna start with my air. I'm gonna start with it dialed almost all the way back. So I'm gonna dial it up probably two turns, which already is showing pretty good. You wanna be square, so you're not pointing one way or the other, so that way if there are tails, you don't wanna have it you know, have them showing. So that's pretty good. There's still a little bit, bit of a concentration right there, so I'll dial my air up a little bit more. Still a little bit. That's a bit better. You can see between these three that there's still a little bit of a tailing effect happening here. And as I increase my air ever so slightly, it's going away. even better. See how smooth it is? And basically by dial, dialing it in, that way you'll have low pressure of air, uh, which means the velocity of the partic particles hitting your surface is gonna be lower, which means there'll be less bouncing off or going around it, um, around your workpiece and your fluid is lower as well. That way you're not throwing too much material at the piece. You wanna have that fine line between really low material, but atomized correctly. So right now I have it set at just under 20, 660, 670 PSI, which is right there. And I'm spraying Renner, it's a water-based self-sealer, it's not, Thin, but it's not too thick. I would say it's about as thick as a, I don't know, probably a, a fairly light um, latex. Anyway, that's, that's, that's how I get my atomization just right. Very lightweight gun. It works really well. I'm very happy with it. One thing that I have to make sure while I'm spraying is that this tip stays clean. Because if that tip doesn't stay clean, then I can get tails or an irregular spray pattern. Also make sure all of my air, uh, air nozzles are clear so that I'm not having any issues with, uh, you know, an irregular air, air delivery, I guess, so that, you know, it's not pushing the fluid one way or the other more or less, so. Anyway, dialed all the way in on my fan, dialed almost all the way out on my air, and you can just, you saw how I did it. You can just easily adjust it as you go along and always put a test piece up so that you can go from this to this. 